it's Stasha Erickson. I hope you're all doing well today. Well, it is August 30th of 2018. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday last weekend and happy anniversary. It was my 40th birthday. <laughs> and it was my five-year wedding anniversary with my husband. So thank you for all the well wishes. Now, I made a quick video last week, but I don't think anybody really saw it. This happens a lot with my channel where videos just go missing. Um, but I had talked about that I had reopened my Etsy store. And for many, many, many years, I did reading services, healing services, um, curse removals, house blessings, um, and uh, past life readings, and you name it. Um, but I had to take a break for two years because I've been in a psychology program. And I'm still in the psychology program, but now it's getting a little more balanced for me. And I had many people um, asking me to bring my shop back so that they could receive, you know, personal guidance and healing services from me. So I just want to let everybody know that my Etsy is reopened and beyond uh, the basic services that I offer there, um, like, you know, psychic reading, spiritual guidance, um, like I said, curse removal, house blessing. I also make products that are organic that um, kind of support the healing process itself. So on my video last time, I was showing you guys that I make these detox bath salts. And if you saw the video last week, this jar was really full and now it's almost empty because many of you did see the video and you've almost completely bought out all my inventory. But in these uh, detox bath salts, I've made these for years. Um, it's a combination of Norwegian sea salt, Himalayan, uh, pink Himalayan salt, um, tea tree oil and bay leaves. You can see probably everything in there. These bath salts are 100% effective for detoxing your basic, basically your body, mind, and your spirit. Uh, anybody who is suffering from like being a targeted individual, feeling like they have negative energy attached to them, you work in a negative workspace or environment where people are kind of bringing you down, um, it's really, really important that you cleanse your body and you cleanse your auric field and you cleanse your energetic field. And one of the best ways to do that is to take a detox bath. So in my Etsy shop, again, they're almost gone. Um, you can get an eight ounce um, package of these for just $8. So I'm shipping them worldwide. Again, they're running out really fast. So grab them while you can. But for anybody, especially anybody who is also a psychic or a healer or you do services or you know, readings and healings for people, you have to cleanse yourself regularly because otherwise you're going to carry around all this negative energy from the people that you're helping as well. So I just want to let everybody know I had those back. And also I made just one batch of these very powerful um, herbal crystal oils. Now in here, it's the same type of stuff that's in the salt. So we have bay leaf, Himalayan salt, um, tea tree oil, sunflower oil, and then also you'll see these little white things in there, and those are selenite crystals. And anybody who knows much about selenite, they know that selenite is extremely cleansing. My cat's yelling at me. Come on. Hi, honey. <laughs> Sorry about that. You guys can see Khaleesi. Say hi, Khaleesi. Hello. Okay raining outside so she wanted to come in um but yes yeah, so i made this one batch of these herbal crystal protection oils now you just need to put a small dab of this anywhere around your auric field anywhere um you know i use it on the temples on the third eye anywhere you want and it just smells amazing too but this is a very 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 protective oil and i made these um for eight dollars as well just you know just whatever it cost me to make them is all i'm charging for them on the website, but I think there's only like 10 or 15 vials left. So grab those while you can. And then another thing that I added that I didn't get to announce last time is every year I harvest and collect um, non-GMO seeds, like for your garden, vegetable, fruit, um, uh, herbs, everything, flowers. So I have all these packs that I have hand uh, harvested and hand collected of different seeds that you can get. And they're all non-GMO because I've collected them from hand. I did not get them from a store. I've been harvesting these seeds for many years since I had an organic garden in Ireland. So these packs of seeds are just $3. And I have, again, maybe about 20 or 30 of them on the side as well. So just wanted to let you guys know that Etsy was back. I have services. If you guys wanna support this channel, go and get a reading, get a healing service. 
get a past life reading. Uh, past life readings are extremely helpful for people who are dealing with um, what they believe might be karma in this life that was carried on from another. So that's another thing I've been doing for many, many, many years. Now, what this video is about today is actually about the Mandela Effect book, Volume 2. You guys know I published the Mandela Effect book, Volume 1, about a year ago today. And even though it was 250 pages, I did not have enough space to cover all the effects. So I was going alphabetically with um, anatomy changes, astronomy changes, and Bible changes. And then by the time I got to that, this book was already this big. So I had continued to write a list of all the Mandela effects that have happened since then in alphabetical order. And the last few videos I've made for you guys over the past month were um, I asked people to send in book changes like Interview with the Vampire, um, cartoon changes like uh, the changes with Mickey Mouse, Curious George. And then um, the next category that I'm going to be writing for the Mandela Effect book volume two is deaths. So if you can please, in the comment section below, let me know what Mandela Effect death that you remember, of course, we know Nelson Mandela was the first and most famous death that everybody remembered that he died once and then he died again. Uh, more recently, there was uh, Pastor Billy Graham, who everybody believed had already died multiple times. There's been other celebrities like Gene Wilder and this is just a few off the top of my head that I can think of. But I know there's many, many, many more people that, um, that, that there's evidence of dying more than once. So we haven't really got to the bottom of why this is happening and how can somebody die more than once, but it's a huge part of the Mandela effect phenomenon that I really, really think is important that we get deep into. So please, in the comment section below on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you see this video, please give me a list of all of the Mandela effect related deaths that you can think of. And if you can send me evidence, residual evidence, um, then your, your story and your information will make it into the Mandela Effect book, Volume 2. And also, I'm still looking for donations for the Mandela Effect book, Volume 2. Um, I think we have enough in the campaign right now to edit about three chapters. Now, this book is probably going to be about 10 chapters, so I really, really need people to go to the GoFundMe account and donate $1, $5, $10, Whatever you can afford and any support that you send to the Mandela Effect book volume two will be much appreciated. All of these books I do are self-published and I could not do it without the help from the Mandela Effect community. Also, if you do send a donation, I always have a big thank you and dedication section in the book and I will include your name and your donation and whatever you would like um, to share and offer because again, this is a very community-based project of books. And um, yeah, I don't know how many of these books there might be. There could end up being several of them by the time this is all over. But right now we're in volume two <laughs> and it's already about 100 pages long just from the first couple of chapters that I have collected of evidence from everybody. So yeah, just go ahead and send in, send in your Mandela Effect death uh, residual evidence or people that you know died, um, anything at all that can help. You can also go to my website, stashaerickson.com. I also have readings and services on there. I have merchandise. I've made Mandela Effect merchandise, but only a few people have ever bought it because I'm, I'm not really pushing. I'm not a pushy merch person, so I kind of forget to let people know. But check out the website. You can contact me there. Check out the Mandela Effect merchandise. And um, yeah, just uh, leave me whatever Mandela Effect debts that you can remember, and it'll be much appreciated. Okay, guys, so I hope all is well. Sending love and peace from Norway, and I will be back with more. Bye-bye.